I'm here with uh, Mrs. Uh, Prouvier in the Netherlands, and uh, she uh, created in the radar 10.5 new uh, schema, and associated with the schema, uh, we have uh, uh, your book uh, published uh, with information about the ac actinide. And uh, could you explain us something in short about the periodic table in general, and maybe especially about the uh, actinide? Yes, I will try. Here we see the periodic system. We see all the series that Jan Scholten described in his book about the elements. Um, and what I would like to show is that uh, what is the difference between the lanthanides and the actinides and the other series. Um, much about these uh, series is to explain when you look at the elements and the uh, electron shells, mm -hmm. where are the electrons of each element? You have the hydrogenium theory, which has one electron shell. Mm -hmm. When you look at the periodic system, you have the first theory, which is the hydrogenium theory, the hydrogenium theory, is it mm -hmm. where uh, hydrogen has an electron shell with one electron. Mm -hmm. and helium has an electron shell with two electrons. Then you have the next theory, uh, starting with lithium, which has a new electron shell, and this electron shell is filling up until eight, which is neon. Mm -hmm. The next series of the periodic system starts with natrium and ends with argon, and in argon, the electron shell is filled up to eight. Mm -hmm. Then you have a next series, which is the iron series. It starts with gallium, has one electron in a new outer shell. Mm -hmm. Calcium has two electrons in a new outer shell. And then you have scandium. And scandium has no electron shell in the outer series in the outer shell, but in the shell of the silicium series. Oh, so, so it, so it fills up the previous uh, shell? The previous shell. From scandium till gallium, yes. the electron shell of the iron series is filled with electrons. And then from gallium to krypton, the outer shell of the iron series is filled up to eight. Okay. The so same in the silver series, starting with rubidium. A fifth electron shell, one electron in the outer shell, uh, strontium, two electrons in the outer shell. Yttrium has the electron in the shell Previous. below the fifth shell okay. until indium, yes. then the outer electron shell fills up. Okay. And then you have the, the gold series, a new electron shell, the sixth. Cesium has one electron in the outer shell, barium has two electrons in the outer shell, and then you have lanthanum. Mm -hmm. And the electron, the new electron of lanthanum isn't in the shell below, but in the shell of the iron series. Oh, so two shells uh, deeper. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's, that's why I prefer to present the periodic system in this way. Okay. Then you can see that what happened with scandium, something li alike happens with lanthanum to lutetium. So from lanthanum to lutetium, the new electrons mm -hmm. fill the, ele the electron shell of the iron theory. And from hafnium to uh, mercurius, eh? mm -hmm. the electrons are in the fifth electron shell. And from uh, thallium to radon, the outer theory of, of the outer shell of the gold series fills. It fills up. Okay. Yes. And then you have a new theory with a new outer shell. 
francium and radium have two electrons, one and two electrons in the outer shell, and from actinium, mm -hmm. the electrons fill the electron shell of the silver series. Okay, again two previously, yes. two below. Okay. And what does it mean for, for the uh, homeopathic pictures of the remedies? From lantanum to lutetium, we have reflection, and from actinium to mm. this one, we have reflection. But okay. reflection of the lantanide is about what I have to do. Do I decide to do it by myself, or do I have to do it by someone else? Is it put on me? Mm -hmm. And the actinide, they reflect on performance. Do I perform using the text of someone else, or do I say what I really mean to say? Mm -hmm. is, is it my inner core what I say? Mm 